In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use fluid simulations in Blender. Let's get started. First, add the object you want the fluid to interact with. For this example, I'm using this simple mug. Next, click Shift A, go to Mesh, and add in a UV sphere. Drag it up, and scale it down. This will be the liquid source, but you can choose whatever shape you'd like. With the sphere selected, go to the object menu, click Quick Effects, and then click Quick Liquid. This box will be the boundary for our fluid simulation, so make sure you scale it to fit the entire scene. Then, click back on the sphere, go to the Physics tab, and under Flow Behavior, change the type to Inflow if you want the liquid to be a continuous stream, like a faucet, or keep it as geometry if you want it to be a single drop or burst of liquid without a continuous flow. Next, click on the mug or whatever object you're using to interact with the liquid, and under the Physics tab, click Fluid. Then, for Type, click Effector. If you're using a shape similar to mine where the top is open and you want the liquid to go into it, make sure you check Is Planar. Now we're almost done. Lastly, click back on the boundary again, go under the Physics tab, and change the resolution divisions to whatever you'd like, but make sure it's something your computer can handle. Then just scroll down, make sure Mesh is checked, and then under Cache, change the frame to however long your scene is going to be, change the type to All, and once your scene is how you want it to be, just click Bake All. And there you go. Now you have a satisfying fluid simulation in Blender. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. With that being said, I'll catch you next time.